about the longer stick because I can reach out a little farther. Let me get some of this bulk mud out of the way first and then I can track back over there. Get a little more. Only problem is I'm having to use the mud to push against to load the bucket. So eventually I'm gonna to get to a point well, I take a mat and put it right there. I can push against those mats. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll stand that mat up and I'll come in here and push directly against it. I just solved a modern problem with a modern solution.
about three or four more skid steer scoops left. The channel is all dredged out all the way down here. I need to take out about five or six more dump truck loads. So I'm going to go down right here. That should be pretty solid. I'm going to throw the mats down here and cut back about another 20 feet down that edge and lay it over here so that I can load it out. about to venture out the pond. Uh, everything seems pretty hard. I don't think I need the mats, but I'm going to throw a couple right here just so I have a solid, something solid to slide down here onto because I'm about to probably slide like a sled in the snow here. Here we go. And we um, Yeah. Just like that. So dip some of this water out because I need a pile of mud right there and I prefer it not to be in water. Let me dip some of that out and I'll get a video transferring this mud over. So trying to dip some of that water out was kind of like beating in the wind so I'm just going to lay it up here on this edge and it'll just kind of push the water away as it goes comes my spectator he comes and checks on me about every two hours <laughs> the joys of being retired he likes to come out here and watch take the doggy for a walk so I'm cutting this edge back to get some more yardage out doing is kind of digging this down so that I can drive out here without the mats. I didn't want it to lug them down here and out. I kind of need them for my little backstop up there to dump the mud into.
how you end up with pictures of machines up to here in water. Oh, more level will be about right about here. That would be good. Once again, I've got a giant pile of goopy mud. Needs to be taken down there with the skid steer. And I should have cut the camera on, but I wasn't really too concerned about it. I was just trying to get the machine out. It did not want to come out of the pond very easily. I'm glad I did throw those two mats down there because the bank just kind of gave way and become very steep where I couldn't pull myself out. So I had to actually go back in the pond and throw the mats down on the slope to be able to help soften the slope so that the machine would actually pull out. So I am definitely going to be putting the rest of them down when I go back out there to dig out the rest. Let's slide into the pond again. Now i got three mats, so hopefully that'll stay on the slope so I can get out of here. <laughs> I'll make sure I film coming out this time. Last time I didn't, and it uh, was a little interesting. Did not want to come out of the, come up that slope right there. Just want to lay what I can up top, and then lay some more there, and the rest over here. And I think I can kind of grade my way out, and not have to come back in here. I hope. That's the plan, at least. And then pretty much all I have to do is clean everything up from up top up there. I got a pile of the rest of it right there. And I can reach that from up top. Back. 
push up against that to load out. good day a few more mud spotters on the machine but a ton of mud moved that's really the muddy machine right there oh it catches heck trying to load the truck that stuff falls all over it but for the most part everything is out of here I ended up going back out there about another 20 feet found a tire but that made some good fish habitat so that went back in the pond so this will now be about six feet deep right there and I gotta finish loading that mud out in the morning then I'll we'll let this dry and I'll come over here with the mini and grade the bank out and clean up everything and fix the trail back well I gotta go fill this up with fuel because uh, it burns a lot of fuel toting uh, two yards of mud around everywhere it goes and I'll show you the stockpile up here well I've been busy today on top of the eight truckloads I've already loaded out got a pretty good little stockpile piled up I want to get all that up here so it can dry out some and plus if it rains I don't have to fight with trying to go up and down that path it's 
it's already wet enough so we'll have it where I'm probably just bring the 160 up here and load it out a little bit quicker and faster. Alright, I'm going home.